Okay, good morning, everyone. I am the communications librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to find resources to help you with your Max 101 assignment. So you can watch what I do on the um, website, or if you want to follow along, you can also follow along and do searches yourself. So where we want to start out today is the communications library website. So the first thing I need you to do is to open up a browser and go to the search box and type in UIUC Communications Library. And it should be the very first option on your list. Okay, we're gonna click on that. And that takes us to the Communications Library website. Now, <clears throat> this is where you want to start out if you're looking for resources in any of the areas in communication and media. So those areas include advertising, public relations, journalism, media studies, communication, and of course, broadcasting. Okay, so here we are at the Communications Library. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you some of the things we have available at the Communications Library website. Um, we're going to focus on your, your assignment, and then we're going to do um, some searching in different databases. Okay, so just to point out a couple of things at the, the Communications Library website, as you scroll down, you'll see this row of photos of the library. We're located in room 122, Gregory Hall, now, due to the COVID pandemic, we are closed now, our physical space is closed, but we can still assist you um, by phone, by email, um, and also we have chat reference over here. Okay, now the first place I'm going to take you is this row, row of tabs, okay. So the third tab in is the Contact Us tab. When you click on that, as you scroll down the list, you'll see there's this email here, com librarian. You can use that any time to email me. Okay, as you scroll down a little bit further, you'll also notice my name right here, Lisa Romero. And then here's my other email address. So you can use either of those emails to contact me. Now, there is a button here for scheduled appointment. So if you do want to meet in person, if that um, would make it easier for you to um, get assistance in completing this assignment, you can click on that and um, we can meet in person in the library. Um, I'll get you approval to get into the building. We'll meet uh, social distancing and then we'll work um, on the assignment. The other thing you can do is you can always call me and if I don't answer the phone, you can leave a message. Okay, so just some options of how to contact us. Okay. Now the next tab is called Key Resources, and when you click on that, you'll notice that you get a long list of resources. Now some of these are very specific, like Advertising Age or ProQuest Dissertation, but some are very general, like Communication Source, which covers um, resources in all of the areas of communication and media, and then of course Nexus Uni, which is a newspaper database. Okay, now. Two tabs over from that is the Journals and Magazines tab. And the reason I'm gonna show you that is because, especially now, if you're doing research and you discover a source in a magazine or a journal and you'd like to know if you have online access to it, that's where you wanna start out to find out if you have online access. So you click on that tab and it takes you to a page that looks like this. So then what you do is, Next, what you do is you type in the title of the publication. So if you're looking for uh, Sports Illustrated or Journal of Advertising, you type in that title, and click Enter, and then it will give you some options. Okay. Now you want to look for the option that says online. So we have here Journal of Advertising Online. That's perfect. So we wanna click on that right there, available online. And then it's gonna give us some options here. You see a long list of things. Okay, these are gonna vary based on dates of coverage. 
So this one here gives you access to that journal from 1972 to 1985. This one from 1987 to 2013. This one down here gives you access from 1972 to the present. So all you would have to do is click on that blue link. And then of course you're gonna authenticate that you're from the University of Illinois. So you type in your net ID and your password, and you log in. Okay, now it will probably, uh, you can, um, choose to have it send you a text or um, it, call you and then you can authenticate that way. So now you're in the Journal of Advertising. Okay, so if you have a particular article you're looking for it, by a particular date over here, there's the date. You can also search within this publication. Okay, all you have to do is click on that link. Okay, so I'm going to go back. There we go. Because I want to go back to the Communications Library website. Okay. Now, let me give you a little piece of advice whenever you're using um, a lot of these resources. Make sure that you're not logged into the VPN. And then the other thing you want to do, so if you're looking for, if you need to know if, you, if we have online access to a um, database or a journal or magazine, make sure that you go there through a library website okay what you do not want to do is open up a browser and then just google journal of advertising or sports illustrated because it won't recognize you as a university of illinois student okay any questions about that you can email me or call me and i'd be happy to work it out with you okay this tab over here is for online is for um, access to newspapers it will tell you if we have newspapers online, in print, or on microfilm. And then there's a tab right here for books if you're looking for books. Okay, now speaking of books, you have access to the books here at this campus, but you also have access, now you notice I went over to this heading here, Find Library Resources, and I scroll down, and there's a link here for iShare. So in addition to the books and this campus, you also have access to books through iShare, which is a group of 70 libraries located throughout the state of Illinois. So that means you can check out books from ISU, University of Chicago, Columbia College, and it's free. So all you have to do is click on that link for iShare, do a search for a book, and then request it. Now you'll want to make sure that you always have your iCard handy because on the front of that iCard, in the lower right hand corner is your library ID number. And that's what you use to check something out or request it. Okay, if you cannot find a book on this campus or iShare or it's already checked out, then you have another option, which is interlibrary loan. Now through interlibrary loan, you can get access to books as well as scanned or photocopied articles from journals or magazines or microfilm um, of newspapers. Okay, so all you have to do is click on that link and you can request something online through interlibrary loan. Both of these services are free. Okay, if you ever need assistance using those, you can contact us and we'll gladly walk you through the process. Okay, now um, we're going to go ahead and start on the assignment. So I'm going to read that assignment. Find two recent news articles that discuss an example of media industry concentration and answer the five questions. First of all, which companies were involved? Second, what elements of the process? were merged. Third, is this an example of a of horizontal and or vertical integration? Fourth, what effects might this merger have on democratic goals? And fifth, were labor issues discussed in the articles? If so, how did they add to our understanding? If not, what could labor issues have added to our understanding of these mergers? Okay, so there are three parameters that you have to follow while you work on this assignment. First of all, you have to focus on media mergers. So that means a merger within media industries. So a TV merger, a newspaper merger, a merger that has to do with radio, film, or internet. You cannot work on mergers, for example, like Estee Lauder or Whole Foods, because those are not media companies. 
Okay. The second rule is that once you identify a merger of two companies, you have to stick with that merger. You can't switch gears and answer different questions for a different merger. And then the third one is you have to use at least two recent news articles. So your instructor will tell you how they define recent. They might want it to be within the last five years or the last 10 years, but they will tell you that. So you have, so two of your sources have to be from recent news sources, but you can also use books to answer the questions and you can use trade publications or scholarly journals. Okay. Now, a lot of times when students do research, um, they use Google and Wikipedia. And most of the times, instructors tell their students that they should use reputable resources or library resources. But in all fairness to the students, that can be kind of confusing because a lot of times you don't really know which resource you should use. And you also may not know how do you, how do you find that resource. Okay. So what we have done to make it easier for you to use reputable or library resources is that we have created a course guide that will help you complete this assignment. Okay, you see up here this heading class resources. Now, as you go down this list, you see that there's one for Max 101 and, and your instructor's name should be listed in there. Okay, so you just click on Max 101, and it takes you to a page that looks very similar to a library website, but you'll see below that row of tabs, you'll see right here it says Max 101, and there's a list of all the instructors. So that's where you wanna start out. <clears throat> and this is actually where you wanna be while you work on this assignment. Okay. <clears throat> So what we've done is we looked at the assignment and we made a list of resources that we thought you could use to complete the assignment. And then we've organized them by type on this page. Okay, now, <laughs> in addition, we've also included suggested, key, suggested keywords for searching the databases, and we've included examples of mergers. Okay. Now, in addition to that, we have a heading here, how to evaluate and cite sources, and we have citation um, guides. Okay, so you always wanna cite your sources because if you don't, your instructor might think that you, whoops, that you made it up or that maybe you got it from a roommate or a friend. Okay. Now, we've also included on here the assignment instructions. So there's the instructions, and then these are the questions that you have to answer. Okay, so we know that we have to have two recent news stories. So let's look at some of the resources that we could use. Now, this is databases for scholarly articles and trade publications. But here we have a heading, databases for magazines and newspapers. Okay. So we have two sources. We have Academic Search Ultimate for magazines and academic articles and newspapers. And then we also have Nexus Uni. Now Nexus Uni is one of the major newspaper databases. And one of the reasons why we're gonna search Nexus Uni today is because it will give you online access to those newspaper stories. Okay, so we're gonna click on the link for Nexus Uni. and it should take us directly to the uh, main page of Nexus Uni. Now, if you're off campus, if you're outside of the library, then it's probably gonna ask you to log in with your NetID and password and then authenticate that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of searches here. So first of all, let's make sure that the news box is blue. Okay, then we're gonna go over here to the choose date range and we're going to um, select, we're gonna pick select date range. Okay, now based on um, how your instructor defines recent, so if your instructor told you you have to find two news 
articles within the last five years or 10 years, that's where you want to enter it in here. So let's just say 10 years. Okay, so let's select 2010. Okay, and to, today is September 22nd, so September 22nd, 2010, and then here's today's date. Great. Okay, so now we're going to go to this box, which is called Search in All News 4. Okay, and this is where we need to um, come up with keywords or concepts that describe um, what we're looking for. Okay, now I'm going to open up a browser. Hold on a second here, this is not cooperating. Okay, I wanna go back to the course guide to show you something. Okay, so one of the things that we have done for this assignment is we've given you on the course guide examples of mergers. Now you can come up with your own merger if you're familiar with a different merger, but you can always select from one of these mergers. Okay, so I'm gonna select Sirius XM and Pandora because I'm familiar with that merger because I'm a Sirius XM subscriber. Okay, so I've got Sirius XM and Pandora. Now, I'm gonna go back to Nexus Uni, and since I wanna search for that merger, I'm gonna type in Sirius XM, and then after you've typed in the first company, you want to type in the word and, okay? And then after and, you type in the name of the second company. Okay, so let's see what we can find on that merger. Okay, so it tells me right here that there's over 5,000 news articles about Sirius XM and Pandora. Okay. Now, it looks like it's going to default sort by relevance, but you can change that to date, newest, oldest, oldest, newest, document title. So if you only wanted articles appearing in New York Times, you could change it to New York Times. Um, okay. So what we usually do at this stage is we just kind of go down this list. Now you can tell what the article is about by the title and maybe some of these little highlighted keywords. Okay. Okay, here's the battle for royalty rates. Well, that may not have anything to do with a merger. We don't really know. This is about profits. Um, Sirius, XM, and Pandora have a new threat. Okay, then we have number five. We've got Sirius XM set to acquire Pandora for $3.5 billion. That sounds to me like it might have to do with a merger. So all you have to do is click on that title. Okay, and it takes you directly to the news story. Okay, so here is the news story. Now, if you've ever read a newspaper, you know that sometimes news stories will be a couple of pages long. Sometimes it'll just be a couple of paragraphs. Just like in Nexus Uni, you'll find some news stories that are really short and some that are longer. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is, you're going to read this news story and see if you can answer any of those five questions. And remember, the five questions are included on your course guide. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Um, Sirius XM Holdings, is set to acquire Pandora Media in an all-stock deal worth $3.5 billion. The deal brings together Sirius XM's 36 million subscribers across North America and Pandora's 71.4 million monthly active users, thereby creating the world's largest audio entertainment company. Okay, so it looks like we've already answered question number one, which is which companies were involved. Sirius and Pandora. And then it says, let's see, question number two is, what elements of the process, production, distribution, exhibition, example, or et cetera, were merged? So maybe what was merged is their customers, because it said here, um, 
brings together Pandora's customers and Sirius's customers. Okay, so you've already answered question one and question two. Now remember, whenever you answer the questions, you have to cite your source. So when you cite your source, the information is up here at the top. This is the title of the news story. This is the title of the source. Okay, this is the date of the story. And sometimes, right, it does have the author, that's the byline. Okay, so whenever I do research, if I find something that's useful, I always email it to myself. And you can do this from the new story. Up here, you'll notice there's an icon that looks like an envelope. If you click on that, and if you type in your email address right there, you can then click on Submit and email it to yourself. Okay. Now, next to, where is the site? Let's see. Oh, here it is. They tend to, the different databases tend to put the um, email icon and the site icon in different places. So here's the one, export citation. So if you click on that, okay, here is the APA citation for this source. Now, you need to ask your instructor what citation format you should be using because there's a couple of options. There's Blue Book, which I'm not familiar with, there's Chicago Manual of Style, and there's MLA. If you're taking a class in the social sciences, you usually have to use APA. Okay, so here's the APA citation. All you have to do is copy and paste it into a Word document, and you've got your citation. Now, keep in mind, a lot of times these databases do not cite correctly. Go ahead and copy it and paste it into a Word document, and then later on in class, I'm going to show you how to use the APA citation manual because you'll need to use that to double check and make sure they've cited it correctly because your instructor does, your instructor is familiar with APA. So you'll need to make sure that that's correct. Okay, so let's X out of that. Okay, so we found um, answers to our first two questions and we figured out how to cite them and we can email the article to ourselves. So um, what you can do now is you can read the rest of the article and see if you can answer any of those other questions. Okay, or you can click on the back button and go back to your list. Um, here's another article. Um, Pandora stockholders approved transaction with Sirius. There's another one that's about this. You could click on that one. Read this article. This one looks like it's a lot longer. And see if you can answer any of the other three questions. Okay, the other thing you can do is you can go up to this box and type in a different um, set of keywords. So you could type in Serious XM merger and democratic goals, or serious XM merger and labor, and maybe answer some of those other questions. But for the most part, you've found the correct database that you need to use to work on this assignment. And on the course guide is a list of keywords. So let's see if we can go back to that. Here's the course guide. Okay, so here's the merger examples. Above the merger examples are a bunch of keywords that you can use um, when you do your searching in the databases. Okay, makes it a little bit easier, especially if you're not that familiar with the subject area. Okay, so Nexus Uni is a great database to start out with. So now I'm gonna show you um, how to find some additional sources that would also be useful for this assignment. Now remember, you only have to have two recent news stories, but you can have sources in addition to news stories. Okay, so because media mergers have to do with communication and media, okay, we're gonna click on this database called Communication Source.
It usually doesn't take this long. Hmm. Let's go to the back button, try again. Start communication tools again. There we go. Sometimes it just has a hiccup and you have to backtrack. Okay, so now you see here we're in communication source in different databases. And all these databases are going to give you options to put keywords in, but then everything else just looks different, different colors. But for the most part, when you go to a database, you have to type in keywords and descriptors. Okay, so um, let's try um, a different search. Let's see, let's try. Let's try Disney, because we know that Disney and Fox also merged. Let's try, and, let's try Disney and Fox and see what we get. Okay. Looks like communication source in general is slow today. Okay, so we did a really specific search, Disney and Fox, and we found right here 162 articles. Now over here, it's gonna default sort by relevance, but like I said, just like with Nexus Uni, you can change it to newest, oldest, source, or even author. Let's keep it at relevance. Okay, so just like with Nexus Uni, you go down this list and you can kind of tell by the titles what it's about, this is Disney Fox deal would create a new beast in the TV jungle. Well, that sounds like it might be about a merger. Disney Fox deal shakes up media world. Okay, that also sounds like it might be a merger. Okay, so when you find something that you think is relevant, just click, look for the PDF full text, click on that, and it will take you directly to the news story. Yeah, usually Com Abstracts doesn't take this long. Okay, perfect. Here we are in our new story. Okay, Disney Fox Steel would create a new beast in the TV jungle. Okay. So, just like with those news stories in Nexus Uni, you read the news story and you see if you can answer any of these questions. Now, one of the reasons why I'm showing you how to use com, uh, communication source is because communication source is related to communication and media, where all these mergers are taking place, and because communication source includes trade publications. Now, let me explain a little bit about a, what a trade publication is. There are four different types of sources, library sources. There's popular magazines like Rolling Stone, Sports Illustrated, and with popular magazines, you do not have to have specific background to understand what they're talking about. If you understand the language, you understand what they're talking about, like Rolling Stone, Sports Illustrated, Vogue, Cosmo. Okay, then there's newspapers, and everybody knows what a newspaper is. Okay, then there's something called an academic or a scholarly journal. Now, these are resources that academics like professors publish their research in. So they, um, for the most part, when you use those, you have to be familiar with the subject area because they use a lot of jargon. So for example, um, if I was to read an article in a scholarly physics journal, I probably would not understand what they're talking about because I do not have a background in physics. However, if I was to open a scholarly journal in advertising or communication, I would probably be able to understand what they're talking about because I'm familiar with the subject area. Okay, so that's what a scholarly journal is like. Okay, then we have a publication called a trade publication. These are publications that are published for professionals within particular industries. So for example, Advertising Age is a trade publication for people in the advertising industry. Documentary is a magazine published for people who produce documentary movies. 
And this publication right here, let's see if we can find the title of it, usually down at the bottom, right here, Broadcasting and Cable. So this is a trade publication in the broadcasting and cable industry. Broadcasting and Cable Trade Publications. Broadcasting and um, Cable, uh, the, the trade publication within Broadcasting and Cable is gonna cover all of the events and the issues in that industry. So that's one of the reasons why we're using Communication Source is because you'll get coverage of mergers within the dif different media industries. Okay, so if we read this publication here, um, by acquiring most of 21st Century Fox in a 60 billion deal expected to be announced this week, Disney will be transforming the TV ecosystem, creating a new content giant based on DNA that's very different from a vertically integrated behemoth like Comcast or the still possible combination of ATT and Time Warner. So it looks like it's talking about that horizontal or vertical integration issue. Okay, now you should email this article to yourself, okay. Over here on the right-hand side, here's that envelope icon where you can email it to yourself, okay. And then as you look down the list, here's an icon for site. So if you click on that, oh, I did that. There we go. Okay. As you look down the list, there's APA and here's the citation. Okay. So you can copy that and paste it into a Word document. Okay. Now, after that, you can read the rest of that article. And for some reason, it's taken me a while to get there. Okay, there's our article. So we can go back to our list. Usually it doesn't take this long. But you can read the rest of the article, see if you can answer more questions, and of course, cite what you've used. Oh, it's really taking a long time. Or you can go back to your list, because I think you got over 160 news stories. And, um, Database is having some problems today. But you can go back to your list, just click on the PDFs for other articles, read those, and see if you can answer the other questions. Okay, so, so, so far we've searched two different databases. We've searched Nexus Uni for news articles, and we've searched ComSource for trade publications. All of those will help you answer your questions. Now, Let's go back to the course guide. Okay, now I mentioned the importance of citing sources. So I'm going to click, I'm going to go to this heading, how to evaluate and cite sources. I'm going to go to online style and citation guides. Okay. And don't worry if it says undergraduate library because all of the researchers use this. Over on the left-hand side, you've got some options. There's APA, you just click on that. And you go over here to um, publication manual of the APA. Well, let's actually not go to that. Let's go to this one. Okay, and on this guide, 
Um, you can click on APA formatting and style guide right there. And then you can find, uh, it should be able, it should tell you how to cite a book, a magazine, a newspaper article. Now, so I'm gonna go back to the course guide right here. Now, I just wanna review a couple of things. When you start on this assignment, go directly to the course guide, which is located on the Com Library website. Try using, first of all, Nexus Uni, okay? And then you can use any of these keywords for searching. Here's some examples for mergers, or you can use your own merger if you know of one. Then, if you were able to answer all of your questions using Nexus Uni, great. If not, try Communication Source and use a couple of trade publications. Make sure that you always check your citations, and both of those sources, Nexus Uni and ComSource, Will, will help you with links to email yourself the articles and to cite them. Now, if you have any questions or any problems at all, my email is at the very bottom of the page, or if we go back to the Com Library website, here is our chat, Ask a Librarian. So all you have to do is type in your question right there, and one of the communications library staff will, um, chat with you and help you answer your question. So the only other thing is our tab for contact us. If you have any questions, you can email me there. You can call me using this number. And then of course there's also chat. So thank you very much and good luck with your assignment.